So welcome back to 971 Lounge. I don't know if you saw our relationships episode before, but we've been told we've missed out on lots of things. So we've brought some people on today. We've got Kai, Adam and Cookie to talk more into relationships in Dubai. So as I said, we had our episode. Um, 65% of our polls said that Dubai is not a great place to, you know, really have a great, lovely, loving relationship. I yeah. want to know your thoughts, Cookie. I think it's hit and miss, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, where I am now, not a chance of having a loving relationship. Why? It's too fun here. Fun, yeah? yeah That's the word to go with. There's a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay. a, just the environment you're in, I think, what you surround yourself with is... So what you surround yourself with? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What I surround myself with is yeah, not... Yeah, that fun. Yeah. I mean, I agree on, like, one sense, but I think... In terms of Dubai, it's such a diverse place. So there's a lot of different people here. So you get that sort of option. But obviously now, like Corona, it's pretty difficult to meet people and like go out and do certain things. So I think if you use it to your advantage, considering how diverse a place Dubai is, then it can be good. But you gotta be careful. You never you know what's gonna happen. You get it. Okay. Love a man. I think it depends on the kind of crowds you hang around with. So obviously if you're in the kind of British crowd, like how we're in, where basically everyone who's from ends or from England that comes and moves here, they basically act like they're on holiday all the time. So if you're part of a crowd that's always in Seven Sisters, always in fucking five every weekend, you know, like, Is that living, like mm. living like you're on holiday all the time, then no, it's not a good place cultivate a relationship but if you want to remove yourself from that and then you know like live like how the locals live or like you know all the other kind of demographics that you have here and yeah obviously you can, you can have a relationship like if even if you look at this area here like this isn't in the main like you know marina palm mm. that kind of area yeah. that party area here's just like a normal place mm. do you know yeah. what i mean if you live here and you're not getting involved in all that then of course you can have a relationship so so you saying it, you can't have the fun without like and have a well, relationship at the same time? Of course you can. Either as a man or a woman, to be fair. Yeah, well, it's not as a man. No. Yeah, no. what do you mean? No, no, you can. Of course you, you can. can. I think you just gotta to learn to be able to like balance it. Uh, do you know what I mean? Listen, a little bit of loyalty. If, if you're yeah. if you're oh, going really? five all the time and you're seeing these things with all these ass shots and fucking Instagram models and all that walking around, <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna be trying to get settled down. Why? Like, so. What do you mean, why, bro? Well, it's everywhere. Because of the fun you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but it's a yeah, but you can have fun. It's a different level. I have a girl. It's a different level here, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But like here, you're literally seeing the girls you follow on Instagram walk around. That's but true. Yeah, that's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, but not all the, the time. The level of temptation here is, is, is just so high. Mm. Like, it's so high. And the thing is, um, it's maybe. because a lot of the girls here are into that whole party lifestyle and living like they're on holiday all the time. The access, so, yeah, the access the that you get, women, though, yeah, that, but that, yeah, but this is the thing: women control access to sex. That's how it works. Mm. So what? Uh -oh. yeah, that is women now. Yes, 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 they do. Yes, they do. Nah, man. If listen, if you have sex with a woman, that's because she gave you consent to do that. Do you understand? I mean, lots of people do it even without consent. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about that because that's just the next thing. But, but not even just if that. You're that even about, in relationships, if you're talking about consent, if you're talking about consent, the sex is not happening without What, well, you've never knocked back a um, bee? Huh? You've never knocked back a girl for sex? No, I'm saying like, yeah, what exactly. I'm saying, that's I'm not mad. saying that. I'm Men just saying, say no to you, though. No, I'm saying yeah. basically like, if two people want to have sex, it's the woman that's going to have to obviously make the decision of whether it's going to happen or not. I'm going to have to agree with you. No, yeah, have to agree it's to a two-way thing. What do you mean? It's bro? a two-way thing. You both got to be No, the man's, I'm saying, the man wants to have sex in it. That's what I'm saying. No, but it's not no, happening no, unless... No, always. What do you mean? Well, there's, there's girls that just want to come and bang as well, you know? Yeah, I know. Then we can that, say no. So my point is... <laughs> I don't <laughs> think you're... Under, you, no, I don't you think... I don't think okay. you're understanding what I'm saying. No, you're saying that. Everything you're saying, everything you're saying, I agree with. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is that because girls on this party lifestyle thing here, yeah. it's a lot easier to get access to sex here as a man. Oh do you yeah, know what I mean? it's way easier than in places like London or those other places. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So 
if you're a man and you're just seeing all this temptation and all these girls are ready to just dash it out and all that kind of like do you know what I mean? So like yeah, it's it's out. gonna be it's it's gonna be a lot harder for you to really be like, all right, like I can have all this freedom and do what I wanna do or I can do you know what I mean, like sell that like you you're not gonna be wanting to do all that sell kind of thing at this stage. But how long stuff. how long do you reckon you can carry on having this fun that Chris is talking about? I think you have, to, you have to make the decision to remove yourself. No, but I'm asking from, you. Me? Yeah, this is about your opinion. My opinion? Mm. Yeah, I think it's about when you decide that you're tired of that and you want to remove yourself from that sort of culture. From from that area. But at the same yeah. time, like, I'm, I've got lots of English friends out here. I've been mm. here for a long time. And I don't think that everyone lives like they're on holiday. Do you know what I mean? So it's about mm. where you want to go with it. I've got friends that are. So I could go with them, but do you know what I mean? So it's like what Adam was saying about having the balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're not the, they're not part of the crowd. That's like seven sisters every week, are they? So do you not think you can go seven sisters and have a girl? Nah, you can. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, you can. You I'm can. just saying there's a certain crowd of people, here, and if you're just into that crowd, it's going to be very hard for you to settle down. Yeah, I know. I do hear what you're saying because if you're around people that are around the temptation and mm. feeding into it all the time yeah. mm. then of course like it's hard isn't it you're not mm. surrounding yourself with the kind of thing that if you're if that's what you're looking for you and i'm not to saying it, if then. you have a girl you can't go and do that of course you can but i'm saying getting to that point of finding a girl and then taking her serious and all that kind of stuff like i don't feel like it's easy to fall into that when you're just so you don't feel like you can take a girl seriously in the way no it's not I'm I'm saying, getting in the mindset to want to do that, yeah, you yeah. Know, most men are not really going to want to do that. Yeah, to be honest, <clears> yeah, and, I, I, and it's yeah. evident. Don't go on like I'm trying to shit. I'm, yeah, I'm also, not saying you are. You're also I'm not, like, you're I'm also just like, yeah, don't, 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 yeah, don't go like. I, listen, I'm agreeing listen, with you. I, I believe most, most men. Most men here are not on that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Speak for yourself. I'm ready to. No, no, no. You just said, you just said, I 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 didn't say special case cookie. Oh. I said, 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 I have this kind of like yeah. internal discussion with yourself to sort of see yeah. the group you're in and what you want. Because mm. if this is bothering you, then you're going to see in, if there's other avenues or other places or other things, you're going to meet other kinds of people. I do yeah. hear that, yeah, but at the yeah. same time, what do you want to be a leader or a sheep? You want to carry on with the pack or you want to do your own thing? Yeah, but the, again, majority it's about balance. It's true. That's but right it, is, it is balance. Like, you can do those things, you can go every weekend, you can do that. But at the end of the day, if you're getting bothered about the certain people or the certain things that people are doing, then you need to switch it up. That's my opinion. Yeah. So going back to kind of what Kai was touching on, the type of people that come out here, so do you think it's the type of people that are coming here that's giving us all this kind of idea of how relationships go down in Dubai? Or do you think it's the Dubai itself? Wait, I'm not sure. I think a mixture of both, slightly. But I feel like the people that come here, I don't know, when I came here, it was like, it's a, it's a whole new world, you know what I mean? Like, you don't, yeah. I don't really know much about Dubai. Mm. Yeah, sure. When I moved here, other than what you see, like, people getting arrested for fucking on the beach and shit. Like, <laughs> that's what I thought. I thought you can't hold hands, you can't do all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Then I came here and it was like... But yeah, it's all a contradiction shit. as well. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But that's because of what Dubai has become and I mean, what Dubai is known for as well. Show. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cookie's like, oh, well, yeah. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> but, but you come here and it's a lot crazier than you think mm. it's going to be before you move here. Yeah, yeah for sure. I feel like so, there's different worlds in Dubai as well. Like there's the real Dubai where like all the locals and them kind of people live. And then there's this second world that the expats have created. Mm. Yeah, somewhat Do artificial. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we've created our own little like Marina, Marina Palm and like JVC, like that kind of area that's our team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's completely different to the rest of Dubai. Yeah. Like, so. Mm. But with the place Dubai is, that was bound to happen anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know? Like, it's going to happen great naturally. It's a tourist place. Like, yeah. 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 And with all the young, place, when you're so coming beautiful. out young and then you're free yeah. and single and having fun and people are earning a lot more money than they would have back home. Yeah. All yeah. Obviously, some people are struggling, but 
at the same sense, even the struggling people are out here trying to have the most mm, fun yeah, too. Yeah. So yeah. It's true. I do agree. It's a mix of both. Um, so how has your opinion on women changed then? Since moving out here? Obviously, like you said, you're seeing them Instagram models that you see on Instagram all the time. You're just seeing them walking around like usual. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, has that changed your thoughts or opinions on how you look at women? Personally, like for me, I think coming from the UK, it has sort of given me like a bigger range and like sort of opened my eyes to, to more than maybe I wouldn't have in the UK because obviously I was used to a lot of the same people as me in the UK. So coming here, there's so many different people from so many different countries, you know. So for me, I don't think it's changed in a bad way, but I just think you've got to be careful because you even want one thing or you want the other, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, some people want both. Well, I mean, if you can get well, that, then fact, I respect that. In fact, I will tell that, you, but... lots of people want both and lots of people take both. Yeah. So, yeah. I, f I feel like it's been a revelation for me because... <clears throat> I said a revelation? Yeah, like, like I, didn't, I didn't know girls were on what they're on, like, how they are here. And I think it just, it shows how culture can, like, change people because obviously being from London especially growing up in a black community where it's like heavily influenced by Caribbean and African culture like most of like my kind of image of women was especially girls from London they're more like stush and they have like respect for themselves and they're not just trying to fuck everyone and keep their body count low and all that kind of mm. stuff like obviously yeah. you have women that are sexually free as well in London but here, I just feel like so many girls are just ready to just bust it wide open here, bro. It's <laughs> mad, man. Like, it's <laughs> nuts, bro. Like, I've, mm. I've, I've heard, I've seen things, like, in raves with certain girls, like, and how they just move and heard certain stories, and I'm just like, this is mad. Like, I didn't know, like, girls yeah. did this. Like, do you know what I mean? And if that's what you want to do, it's what you, I'm not, I don't look down on them for it, but it's just, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's an eye opener for sure. Yeah, it is peak. So actually, touching on that point, so obviously, you're not used to girls being like that back home, but I'm sure you're all used to, I know lots of guys that are like that back home, alive. So yeah, like, yeah. In, that, in that sense of things, has that changed your opinion on women? Like, is it all right if you said like, oh yeah, do what you're doing, but like, mm. you're probably not going to buy from them, are you? No. But yeah, a man that's doing the same kind of thing, he but expects to be hubbied up at one point, do you know what I mean? But it's not that we expect it, it's got to do with... It's got to do with who your end consumer is at the end of the day. Like, the end consumer of women are men and, uh, and vice versa. So, we act up to the standard that you lot accept. If every woman decided to collectively come together and say, yo, if your body count's over three, I don't even want to chat to you. If you lot all said that, we would stop being hoes the next day. But the fact is, I is hear that, that. Yeah, I hear that. The fact is, is that we go around and we fuck like all over the place, and you're still ready to have the us up. Mm -hmm. And that's down. That's because that's what you accept. Men have collectively accepted that we're not on that. That's mm -hmm. not what we want. That's not what the market wants. Do you understand? So <laughs> this is so but, peak. But, because how is that supposed to change though? As well, like. You, it's it, that, like it's to not, be honest, it's actually not to be, even fair. To be perfectly honest, it's down to you lot. It's down oh, okay. to it's hang down on, to it is. On, it's down to what you're willing to accept. People, I don't know, you know, I feel yeah. like it has changed. So would you not want to know if got body count over ten, 10. now? Oh, I don't really care about body count at this age, so we're nearly like thirty now. That's what so I mean, like, I you know, like, if you've been fucking since you're fourteen, fifteen, like you're bro, that's like ten years of being. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I mean I'm not really worried about that too much. It's mm. more about how you carry yourself. Mm. And yeah. like, yeah, like your attitude towards, like, yeah, it's more yeah. about how you carry yourself. I think that's a very, that's, yeah, yeah. that's very good. Like you know a I mean? mature, mature <clears throat> way of thinking about it because yeah. it is like hard, obviously for more liberated women who want to be more free and feel like, fuck it. And especially these women that mm. are just being hurt by all these Dubai men who want both, do you know what mm, I mean? Like yeah. they want to go out and have fun and do what they're doing, and they don't want to be like disrespected for it. And and that's that's all well and good, but at the end of the day, like the market wants what the market wants. Do you understand? <laughs> like nah, bro. Like you can <laughs> you can have a house. Well, you can have a house yeah. and be like, I want a, I want two million for this house. But if the market's saying it's only worth hundred grand, it's only worth hundred grand. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't if you can go out and do the freeness and all that and do what you want to do. But at the end of the day. 
that's not what men want in it. Mm. Like we don't want. Well, that. Are you carrying yourself well doing it? Huh? If you're carrying yourself well doing it. What, just beating loads of people? No, people not beating, but like... <laughs> people don't that? have to know exactly what you're doing, do you know what I mean? Obviously, if you don't, that's, then you're finessing the game, that's good. You <laughs> <team. laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, but what I'm saying is, if you have that reputation of you're just dashing it out to everyone... Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I'm not going to want... Cause no, I hear that, but do yeah. you know what? Look, like, we, from a woman's point of view, yeah. if I know that you've been with bare girls and I've seen these different girls yeah. and I'll be like mm, if every woman you, was like you watch. then the marketplace would be a lot different yeah but lots of women are like me they're not it's like, not got enough it's just what it's just what it is and the fact is is like women, a lot of women like a guy who other women want do you know what I mean yeah. but the thing is is if you are a guy who has had a lot of sexual partners, because you've had the practice and you know how to please different types of women, because different types of women are pleased different ways. Yeah. Mm. If you've been able to master different, like, girls that like to be, you know, to, I'm not even gonna, I'm not, it's a bit, I'm not going to go <laughs> yeah, too no. into detail, <laughs> but like, if you've done that, you're going to be better in bed. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So like, the thing is with girls is, if you like a guy, you see that he's going somewhere, and the sex is good. But, nine times. But the thing is, nine times out of ten, you're gonna just want to get into a everything, guys. Like, everything you're saying, I, yeah. I 100 agree with. But mm. I don't think you understand. It's the same the other way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't that's think all men want like to be pleased differently? Oh they yeah. Do. That's why I don't mind the do body counting. Like, I don't mind the body counting. Even yeah, yeah, you. But lots of men do. So you're different oh, in that sense because lots of men be like, ah. Oh, Ah, uh, no more than three, no more than five, no more than whatever. I and just don't. You want them to be I, like I just don't ask. Yeah, but yeah, it's important to be respectful on both sides. Exactly. Respect yeah. Like regardless, sides. even if it's just I don't know, you you're doing your thing like mm. what, like every weekend. But I don't think we can <laughs> care about body count anymore anyway. Mm. Yeah. So like you were saying about sex being accessible, so body yeah. count is doesn't matter no more. So it's I want a story. I mean, I want to say it don't matter. Like, if you're going like, it's a if you're talking about 50 men and that, like I'm, I don't, the, the thing is, is I feel like because men put women on such a pedestal, like, like you lot are like proper, like, if you're talking about wife, like, you want your wife to be someone, something that is precious to you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, not someone that you, you know everyone's been exactly. through. Exactly. Like, like, yeah. you know I mean, you have it's something just... that's rare, something that's has worth. Do you mm. know what yeah. I mean? But it's the same with women. We don't want a man that... Um, we know every woman can have access to yeah. mm. mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But a lot of the time, you don't look past it. Mm. And that's, that is true. I mean, okay, fair, fair enough. Yeah, not, Some, a lot not of, every woman, but, but majority. Lots of women do. We, but at the same time, a man, that, a man that passes through bare girls. Ah, uh, if you get yeah. over, over. But over, when, over. when he then finds a woman that he likes, yeah, and what's the wife, but he will mm. treat her completely differently to how mm. he treats the other girls, which is probably a big reason why lots of women do mm. stop thinking about the other women that they've been through. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Of course. Um, so now I need story time from you guys. Yeah. I want to know about um, a time a girl has made their intentions really clear with you. So, and how that's like made you feel, has it turned you on more to them or has it like brought you back? Like, have you been like, like no, nah, I don't want this, do you know what I mean? Mm. Well, I don't know. So for me, like, it's happened to me one time and I think sometimes, and I'm going to be honest, some girls, like, let's say you're in a party, right? You're in a party setting, yeah? Some girls come to you, you be talking and they're just on it, mm. like too quick. And then I'm just like, all right, you need to like slow down a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So sometimes for me, that's a bit of a turn off because I'm like, all right, I want to talk to you a bit more. Yeah. Like, still getting up in my face, like already. Um, but on the other hand, if you're with someone who you've been talking to for a while, then I feel like that comes more naturally. Mm. That's my opinion. But it, again, it depends on what, the, on what the setting is. Yeah, what the setting is and I guess what your intention is with her. Yeah, exactly, mm. exactly. What about yeah. you, Cookie? I just like, I don't know if they're honest, I like it. Regardless of what it is, if they're like, look, I'm looking for a relationship. Yeah. I'd like to know. Just so I, because I don't like doing that whole beating and carrying on, seeing each other. I don't even really like going on dates with girls, mm. unless I have intentions with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't, yeah. I don't just say, oh, do you want to go for a drink? Yeah. Just because I'm trying to fucking like. I hear that. There's no like, like, point. Yes. Yeah, so if they're like, if we get to that point and they want a relationship or more, and I don't, 
Yeah, it just it's a. I guess as well at our older age, if you set your intentions clear at the start, you ain't wasting no time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> precisely. Get what you want. I'm no one likes to say it's Obviously, kind of differently. Let's hear your thoughts. <laughs> Listen, man. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the times I'll tell girls straight, I don't want a relationship at the beginning of it. And they're just like, yeah, all right, cool. And then because I'm nice, three weeks down the line, they're just like, yeah, but I'm on a relationship. And it's just like, yeah, but, I told, but I said though. Yeah, that's calm. Like, but then that's okay because you've told them, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. and, it's but it's not okay because then fucking, it turns in, like, it turns into some mad, like, Emotional thing where you're all crying and this and that. Like and it's that. Like, you yeah. say no. And it's like, well, also, you have to understand like, how long you need to yeah. keep in mind like, how long yeah. you want this huh? to be going on for. You know what I mean? It's true. It's true. Because, like, in your mind, you send to yourself, oh, this is going to continue for a long time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Has this happened to you lots of times? It feels like you're really talking from the heart. More than once, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. yeah. So, the thing is, I, I completely get what you're saying. Yeah, I do. Mm. But at that point, when someone's now turned around three weeks down the line, that's not that long. Like, I don't know how people can be getting that emotional. Yeah, that's real. But Me obviously, neither. some people are. That's Me neither. Some, <laughs> some people are, that's fine. But then at the same bro. time, <laughs> <laughs> you can have mine. Take, your yeah, take mine. Take mine. Mine's thirsty. <laughs> but do you know, at this point, I think this is what lots of you, men and women, don't seem to get sometimes. That if you've made your intentions clear, mm. you've said it. That other person now has changed their intentions. If your intentions haven't changed, it's, like it's time for you to step back, step away. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, true. if you're going to keep yourself in a position where you've told someone you don't want something or you do want something and your intentions don't align, why are you still yeah, there? Yeah, you, need to out. you need to be open One, to One or change. both of you need, yeah, you need to either mm-hmm. be open to change and willing to work yeah. through whatever or thus, like, no one's telling anyone, it's your, you're living your own life where if you want to live that life, with someone else, your intentions are both clear and you're both understanding each other. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. If they're not, wow, well, yeah. there's the door. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. that's actually how it how it is. And if it if it's not, one of you or both of you are gonna end up getting hurt. Mm. So and if and also you probably care about these people, right? I assume like if you're spending an amount of time with someone. You care, yeah, to an extent. To an extent. Mm. Yeah, but that, that comes like down that. to like how important communication is and like being honest. Mm. Even if it's just a thing like friends with benefits or whatever, like you need to be honest yeah, like, in true. communication because like there's going to be an end to it regardless at mm. some point. So you want to enjoy your time while you're like with that person, but you want to like even out certain things before it could get ugly, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Sometimes it gets ugly real quick though. Exactly. <laughs> so that's why that's important in the first place, if possible. But again, in not in every like circumstance can it be possible. Mm. I think it's just what you're saying. Communication needs to be clear. Yeah, mm, from the start. Just go, well, not even just, yeah, from the start, just continuous without any relationship you're having with whoever. Yeah. As long as continu- communication is clear, you should be calm or at least understand each other. To yeah, 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 yeah. So... Last thing I want to ask you guys is what is your advice to another man coming out here who wants a woman, who wants to get into a relationship? Hmm. I haven't got no advice to someone with a relationship. They're not going to start with me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? I can't help you. Uh, I would say the only advice I can give is just be open-minded. Mm. Like, take, a, take the opportunities that are given here. Like, there's so many people from so many different countries and enjoy that. Meet loads of new people rather than trying to go for a specific thing. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you're going to learn more and you're going to meet a lot more new people through those people that you meet in the first place. So that's it. That's, that, you know, that would that's be my advice. advice. That sounds like you're saying play the field well before you. <laughs> yeah. So basically. But I think, yeah, basically. I but, think yeah, 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 but play it cleverly. <coughs> oh, yeah, because a lot of these people you meet, may not, it may not end up being something. But who knows? At the end of the day, that person could know someone who could help you out in your career. Yeah. Mm, mm. So, so network, yeah, is that what we call it? We've mm-hmm. gone from fun to networking, calm. No, it's a mix of both, though, you know. <laughs> yeah. The market wants what it wants, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've been the buyer, I've been the title now, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, what, you said a guy that wants a girl? Mm. I, wouldn't give him, I wouldn't give him no advice. He's not going to have no problem finding a girl here. It's the girls that are going to have trouble finding a relationship here in this country. Are, are we talking relationship or just... Oh, if you're a yeah, guy... If you're a guy here and you meet a good girl who's not 
like that's you, easier said than done. Who you want to be? Who you want to be? Yeah, but they're there, bro. Like, let's not go on that. They're not there. They're I have not a very good group of friends. Yeah, so man. I know. I know. Really a lot, I know a lot of girls that aren't doing <laughs> what you know the typical Dubai girls do. You're not gonna have. You're not gonna have an issue finding a girl there as a guy. Mm. And the thing is, is because girls are here, I feel like they're starved of guys that want relationships. Like that's that's more what's rare. It's mm. guys that want it. Like so, to be honest, if even if, at our grown ages, yeah. Do you know, Exactly, but so for a guy, I'll just just be like, Rob, just find a girl you like. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be hard to find one here. I don't think. Mm-hmm. I think the people who need advice is the girls. And my advice to a girl is, if you want a relationship in this country, don't move it. Marvin, <laughs> 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 okay. Why the fuck are you coming in my relationship? <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Just setting yourself up to fail. <laughs> Listen, I mean, come here. If you come in for work, do your work, make your money, and then leave and go somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't come here and look for relationships. <laughs> There's dead girls in happy relationships. Listen, you know? listen, as much as Kai Very has a point, and far between, my friend. as much as Kai has a point, I know lots of people who have got saying. into nice relationships in Dubai. Girls, there lots is hope. Lots means 10. <laughs> 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 <Maybe eight. laughs> lots means 10, bro. Yeah, look, it's, it's, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't come here looking for that. I would. I'd come here to network, build yourself up, build a financial base for yourself. Like, that's why I think you should come in. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or if you're somebody who genuinely is into this lit lifestyle, like party and all that kind of stuff, but don't come here with the intention of, like, I want to come in and build something with someone. That's, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It can happen. Come here yeah, of course it. it can. Of course it can. But don't come here. If it happens, cool like, Kai, let him know because yeah. I think he needs some happy stories yeah, in his life. Yeah, yeah. Relationship with nah, him. man. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's it's like playing, it's like winning the lottery, innit? Bruh, Ooh, winning yeah. the lottery. Yeah, if you, right. if these people, these, <laughs> these girls that have found someone, like, it's good. It's, I, I love that. That's good. Yeah. It's not, a lot of girls are struggling now. Mm. He's, yeah, not, he's not. Wrong. Yeah, but guys probably are as well. I think no, guys are struggling. Not. No, to find, uh, no. To find yeah. a girl to bang, no, but to find a girl that you want to rip off, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I've not had a relationship here. Been here. You don't want me. Cookie. How long have you been here for? A few years. Yeah, no. you, don't you don't want, want it. one. You don't no, want it. Like, if you wanted a relationship, you could find you one. You could find one within three months, bro. If you wanted one, you could find one. No. If you wanted one, I'm not saying. You're open to one, and you're like, yeah, let's. No, but it's a simple fact of finding like, a girl I'm really that is mentally stimulating. There's a lot of that's true. There's that a is lot true, of to be fair. physically pleasing girls awesome. here. Yeah, but mentally, there's I've not come across or maybe two in three years. That is true. That can but actually that, intellectually. That, you, you I, think that's, that can I think that's the circles. But I've been. I think, I, that's the circles, I, I think about it when I was working. Fucking Emirates, there's different girls, different countries, different mm. circles. Listen, there's. there's bag, it's not there's, just UK no, girls. It there's no, there's no, ladies right. out here that have mad careers and all that kind of stuff, done really well for themselves. Them girls will have the best conversation. No, I, I 100% you know I mean? agree. There are women out there, but it's still you have to find the one that connects with you. Yeah, yeah. And that's not always easy, no matter what country you're in. Anyway, okay. it's been interesting. Difference of opinions on that. Yeah, Very different. Sure. <laughs> Definitely different. We've had having fun. We've had networking, as he likes to call it. So obviously, we've given you some more difference of opinions to just ours. If you have more opinions, which I'm sure you lot do, drop them in the comments. Like, share, subscribe.